Well, hello, all you miniatures lovers on the interwebs. I'm Doc Ian. It is another Monday, Monday the 16th of October 2023, and I'm here to ramble about all these finished miniatures, 11 mini models. Now, there's a couple of Reaper models. There's this Elf Wizard, who is in a lot of primary colors. He's very bright out there, and there's the samurai, who I decided that his face it looked it looked too big for his body. It looked like he had a head that was too big for his body. So I decided this is probably a mask that's part of the helmet. Uh, some some Japanese helmets had that. A lot of them had like demon masks, but some also had like realistic human masks. This might have been the wrong call. I'm not sure because. Mm. I don't think there the holes there aren't really holes sculpted for the eyes that make it look like a mask but uh, you know I decided it's a mask and I painted it met metallic so yeah that was that then we have some post-apocalyptic gangers one metal bikini lady one vault dweller with a bazooka one guy with a weird visor and an assault rifle and this big trucker like dude with a, a big handgun and some dynamite and then we have all these robots in their colored metallics and this cybernetic dude well robot with a human head and there's one robot that's just a very small like sentry gun like a pop-up gun from a from a sort of a, a chest um but yeah you'll get close-ups of them in the still at the end but i'm pretty happy with how these turned out i mean i could have worked more on the robots and made the colors more logical these are very just impressionistic and kind of a little bit all over the place, but I think they work for tabletop. So I'm happy. Let's move on to the work table. Uh, the unfinished stuff on my table still includes this Sophie, which has gotten further along since last time you saw her now, I'm pretty sure, uh, but still not 100% complete. She's like 90%. Uh, we have more robots again, black on black black primer and black uh, undercoat and these post-apocalyptic humans look very black they, they have a light primer but then I realized that a lot of them is metallic is gonna be metallic they have a lot of metal gear on them so I undercoated a lot of them much of these models in black as well so yeah but I'll get started on these and I think they should be able to be speed painted pretty rapidly. This time in the inventory corner we're cataloging minis from a small company called Dark Fable Miniatures. Uh, they This was a Kickstarter or two of them or maybe an Indiegogo, I forget which one, some sort of crowdfunding anyway for Egyptian theists, uh, Egyptian themed, ancient Egypt themed minis. Mostly people, I think there's a few monsters in here. Mummies or something? No, I can't find them now. Seems, no, it's not, it looks like just people. I thought there were monsters, but oh well. Uh, that's fine too. Oh no, the, the, here's some undead. But I thought there was some sort of... Oh, and here's a, a skeleton of a big dog or cat or something. Yeah, so yes, there are monsters, undead, specifically, because, you know, mummies. Anyway, uh, there's 21 uh, models in total here. Uh, I don't remember. I, I, I got them because I was thinking ahead to maybe running um, one of those Pathfinder campaigns that take place in fantasy Egypt-like um, places 
Eh, but, you know, I've never gotten around to that, so... Eh. But I have these, in case it ever happens in the future. And now we catalog. As for new uh, projects, I'm gonna keep working on these post apocalypse minis from Mega Minis. Uh, here's a few more people. Humans or maybe mutants with no uh, clear physical mutations. <clears throat> and I'm taking a break from the robots for a while. There are some more robots left in those boxes, but uh, I thought I'd take these rat people, rat mutants, uh, wannabe Skaven, future Skaven, um, just just to take a break from the from the uh, all all the robots all the time and uh, all metallics all the time into something a little bit uh, different. But I'll come back to the robots next week and finish those off. So that was this week's episode. Please give it a thumbs up. Comment is is one of the more important things you can do. Uh, share it, subscribe, and of course, be back here next week, same day of the week, same channel, same Doc Young, who is now signed.